And we're live. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? It's been a long time since we've done one of these. I, know. I feel like I forgot what this is like. Well, get used to it. Well, today we are bringing back the Just the Tip series. So we are going to go over some strongman events and ways to make these events easier for you. Now, since I've been around the game for a long time, I've seen how a lot of these events are done. And for me, being one of the smaller athletes, it really, I've had to be a student of the sport in order to figure out what works for other people and how can I adapt those techniques to somebody of my size and stature. So today we're going over one of my favorite events, the log clean and press. It's something we see a lot in Strongman and we're starting to see in CrossFit. So hopefully this event and this tutorial can give you some pointers on how to be more efficient in this event should you see it at your next competition. I'm out of breath already. <laughs> Haven't even done anything. Is that all you want to say? For now. Okay. Alrighty, so what we're going to do today with this log clean and press is we're going to break it up into three different parts. We have the pick, the clean, and the press. A lot of times people just kind of pick it up off the ground, get it to their lap, stand up and press wherever they want. We do have to be kind of methodical in order to be most efficient on this to save as much energy as possible for the press, which is obviously the most important part because if you don't press it overhead, it's not a good rep. So when we look at the log, first thing we want to do is look at the handle placement before we even pick up the log off the ground. A lot of people pick up the log with the handles straight up and down. We want to fix that. We actually want to face the handles away from us just a little bit. What this is going to do is put us in a better lap position to get our elbows in a really strong position and it will give us a stronger positioning for the clean itself. Common mistake I see on the pick of the log is people will grab it and they immediately try to row it to their chest with their arms. What I tell people is we essentially want to treat this as a deadlift. We want to pick it up with straight arms to our hips. Once the log is at our hips, we're going to sit down into the lat position. So what that is going to look like is handles away. We grab in the middle of the log. Our forearms should be resting against the close edge of the, lo of the log. We're going to stand up with straight arms, get the log to the, lap, to the hips. And this is where we're now going to sit down into the lat position. In our lap position, it's essentially a squat, right? You can see my elbows are pointed up towards the ceiling and you're gonna hear me reference the elbows time and time again in this video because I believe they are one of the most important parts of the body that are often neglected during the clean and press of this event. So we get it to our lap, we're in this front squat position. The biggest thing we wanna do is minimize the amount of space between our bodies and the log. If we have a belt on, we can push out against the belt, kind of get our stomach a little bit big because we want to make sure that we're having as much contact with the log as possible. So again, handles away. We stand up, we deadlift it with straight arms into our lap. We now sit, elbows pointed up towards the ceiling. This is going to allow us to engage our backs to be nice and tight in order to begin the clean. Log is nice and high on our chest. We're filling the space, trying to minimize the space between our bodies and the log. We now squeeze our back and in one motion, we're gonna stand up, shoot our hips forward and punch our elbows through to get the log to our shoulders. So that's gonna look like this. We're here, we roll and we're in the clean. Now, once the clean is done, the log is on our chest. We wanna make sure our elbows, again, are parallel to the ground. What that means is we wanna have a nice high elbow position. This is gonna make sure our rack position is really strong. What I often tell people is we want to kind of think of ourselves as bodybuilders and do a bodybuilding move in this, in this position where we want to kind of perform a lat spread to get our delts out to pop nice and high so we have a strong rack position and it puts our elbows kind of at this 45 degree angle with our triceps parallel to the ground. This is going to be the most effective way to have a really strong dip in order to get the log overhead. So going through the full motion again, handles away, deadlifted to the lap, we sit, elbows nice and high, we are minimizing that space between the log and our bodies. We squeeze, roll up, elbows nice and high. Now, in that position, what we want to do, and I'll demonstrate without the log just so you can see my beautiful face, <laughs> we are going to dip, drive, and press. The nice thing with Strongman, 
we can press overhead however we want, whether it's straight press, push press, split jerk, push jerk, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> the hardest thing with the log is getting the dip correct. It's not a barbell, so with the diameter of the log, it's going to want to pull you forward. So what we want to do is make sure our feet are just outside shoulder width. We point our toes out, and when you dip, think kneecaps to pinky toes. That's going to make us be able to stay nice and vertical. If I turn to the side, you can see me dip. I sit into my glutes. My back stays nice and straight, and that's how we drive up into the log. A quick drill, if you have trouble falling forward on your dip, is take a log, come over to a wall, find your pressing stance. <clears throat> we want to make sure our butt and our back stay in contact with the wall the entire time, have the log on our shoulders, and we dip knees out, again, kneecaps to pinky toes, into our dip and stand, making sure our butt and our back are staying against the wall the entire time. If you're drifting forward, you have to make some adjustments. <laughs> so, pulling it all together, we're gonna do the pick, clean, and the press to show you what an efficient log clean and press should look like. So again, handles away, we deadlift it to our lap, we sit, elbows high, squeezing, limiting the space between the log and our bodies, stand, elbows nice and high, knees out on the dip, and we press overhead. There's a lot that goes into this lift, Sometimes people think it's pretty efficient and we make it look easy. That's only because we know what we're doing. It takes a lot of time, a lot of hours, and a lot of practice in order to become efficient. But if you break it up and segment it, segment it into these three parts, I promise you will be as efficient as possible on the log clean and press. I'm out of breath. I need to end this video. Joey's not rolling his eyes behind me at the camera. Um, so as always, check out the sponsors down below in the description. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And until next time, peace out.